In this example, we want to evaluate the stability of function t of s if put in a unit feedback closed loop system. The Nyquist plot for the open loop function t of s is given here. The question now is, if this function is put in a negative unit feedback loop, would the closed loop system whose transfer function is t of s be stable or unstable? Here we have the Nyquist plot for function t of s. We need now to observe the number of encirclements of negative 1 and the number of unstable poles of the open loop transfer function. This function is s over s minus 0.1 squared. The poles are s equal to plus 0.1. And because this is a square, we now have two unstable poles, two poles on the right side of the S-plane. So for this function, P equals to 2. Now, if you look at the Nyquist plot and count the number of encirclements of negative 1, we'll see that this Nyquist plot encircles negative 1 one time in the counterclockwise direction, which means that N is negative 1. Negative because it's in the counterclockwise direction. Now, the number of unstable poles of the closed loop system is simply P plus N, that is 2 minus 1 equals to 1. This means that if this function is put in a unit feedback loop, negative unit feedback loop, the resulting system will have one unstable pole. The system is closed loop unstable.